Hi crypto fans, welcome to CCS Cryptocurrency State. My name is Santiago, I'm a web developer and investor. And in today's video, we are going to cover the Sweet Testnet. This is the wave two. This is a complete guide step by step for this free airdrop opportunity. Like always, we are going to cover the step by step, like I mentioned, a little bit about the project and all the steps that you need to do progressively in order to participate on these possible airdrops. This is the most complete guide for Sweet Testnet Wave 2 that you are going to find in YouTube. I saw everything there, but there are missing parts that you are going to find in this video. So please, if you are interested on Sweet Network Airdrop, watch this video until the end. And if you find value in this video, I would recommend you to go to my website cryptocurrencystate.net slash subscriptions and register for my Discord channel where we are bringing a lot of things about the Airdrop. This is an Airdrop channel. And you can find also my application on how to register airdrops and see the video on how my app works. These subscriptions are very cheap for you. Before we begin, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, click the bell to get the notifications. And without anything else, let's get into it. Hey guys, well, the Sweet Testnet Wave 2 has been already announced that it's live. Remember that I did videos about the Sweet DevNet that you can check it in my website and also in my webpage. And also I did a video about the Sweet Testnet airdrop when first time was in Testnet. It was only for a couple of days because there was a lot of issues on that Testnet. They went back into DevNet and right now we are in the second wave of the Testnet so that is why it's called Wave 2, because have already been in testnet for a while, for a couple of days only. So this time they are really coming strongly and I don't think they are going to reset a lot or even reset the network like happened in the devnet. That was a little frustrated if you were behind the possible airdrop. And of course I'm going to share all the official links, but basically in this round you are going to see validators, full node operators, delegators, app builders and end users that can all participate. The Wave 2 will test Sweet Tokenomics, including Epoch management. So you're going to be able to stake and I'm going to show you how to do that and also how to unstake and get staking rewards distributing on all Epoch's boundaries. You are going to see the gas mechanism. Validators will participate in setting the reference gas price and you are going to see storage found. And besides that, you are going to be able to test applications. In this video, I cover 16 points that you need to accomplish. If you are using my web application, you are going to see that it's really, really easy to apply to this. And every time that I launch a video, automatically all that information is injected into my app. So each time that I launch a video, you have the way to apply to this airdrop on my app instantly. That is why my app is really, really working. And you can see here in this video how it works. And I am also updating changes on my app from the feedback that I get from my users on my Discord channel. So the app is really been growing and building. And you also can add your custom airdrops. It's not only working for CCS channel on YouTube. This application, it will work and for any airdrop that you want. Without anything else, let's go into the step-by-step. -step. Like always, usually in my step-by-step -step tutorials, I do all step-by-steps. You can check the link on the description for my airdrop organizer. You can enter to this Google Doc free and you can see everything that I have been covering in terms of airdrops. So like always, step one and two is follow them on Twitter and Discord. You are going to need the Discord subscription to this. So be sure to get these two things done. After you do that, you need the step three, which is get your sweet wallet. And if you don't have it, be on the last version, 23.1.25.225. You could get errors if you are not in this correct version. So if you already have the sweet wallet, you can update it. If you don't have it, here is the link, for example, for the Chrome extension. This is the official link. So go there and download the app, like any wallet, like Metamask, you're going to need to set your, your password, your free size, keep everything clean. And once you're ready, you're going to see something like this, guys. So this is a sweet wallet. This is a step three. And like you can see, if you go to the hamburger icon, you can see network. I am in the sweet test net. And you can see that you can go to the dev net. You can put your custom RPC URL. If you have issues with your wallet, you can put your custom data here and you can also try it locally. 
So be sure to be in Sweet Testnet when you are entering here. So this is your step three, get your wallet. Step four, we need some Sweet tokens. So we are going to get this in a very easy way. So you go to the Discord. This is the link for the Discord part. And you need to write exclamation point, faucet and your wallet address, your address of your Sweet wallet, of course. And be sure that you are in Testnet and you are going to receive 0.1. So you go here and you can see all the other people doing the same and you just write exclamation point, faucet and your wallet and in around 5 minutes you are going to have your tokens. With this 0.1 tokens that you can see that I already have here in the testnet, it's going to be enough to try everything on this video and you are going to have tokens for more stuff. So after you get your tokens, on step 5 you are going to go to wallet and click stake and earn sweep. Select the validator, click on the stake amount. You are going to see a white rectangle where you can put the amount that you want to stake. And then you need to go to the dashboard of your wallet. You will see that you have Swiss stake it. So it's really easy to do. And I recommend you to stake in three or four validators, just in case that you really need to have some stake there. So go to the wallet. You can see here stake and earn Sui. Click there. This is the lead the list of validators. You can be also be a validator on the testnet. So select one randomly. You can click here. Click on select amount. And here in this rectangle, it's not very intuitive. You can click and you can see that you can enter an amount. So I will put 0 0.001. You can see that now you can click on stake now. And you need to wait to this to finish. And you can see that you are going to start rewarding, getting the stake rewards on the Epoch 5. Give it a minute until you see this. I, I was assuming that it will be any advice here or any, any pop-up saying that was successful. But you only have this click, so after that click on this. But it's going to be okay guys. So after some minutes you are going to see that you are already staking. But the important thing for you is that always check the activity and you can see that you have been doing the activity. You did this request to add delegation for Moolcoin. So this is the request that you wanted. So that actually work it. And if you go to coins again, after some time, you are going to see that you have staking here. So do this for uh, two or three or four validators, like I mentioned. I am just doing it randomly here really don't care to who I validate. So put some different amounts each time. Click stake now. Really easy to do. I didn't have any issues on the last days that I have been testing this app before doing the video. So everything is working apparently fine on the stake situation. And after some time, remember you have your transaction histories you are going to see. You can see here that currently I have a stake 0.0013. This is the first taker delegator that I enter. So you are going to start appealing and seeing here all the four or three or four that you are going to do. This is the important point. This wasn't in the previous testnet, so this is a new stuff that you can do on this testnet. Stake there, and you will already be participating on that point. After that, we need to get the example NFT. So on the wallet, click down on apps. Click on Mint NFT and after that confirms, you can go to the NFT section on your wallet and you will see the example NFT. So to do that, click here the wallet, click on apps, click on Mint and NFT. You can see that this is loading and you are, are not going to have any reference that work it. But if you go to NFTs here, you can see example NFT. So the Mint was su successful and remember you go to the activity. And you can see that you minted your example NFT. Of course, you pay gas for this, but this is all the kind of transactions and stuff that you need to do for your SWE opportunity for an airdrop. Step seven, guys, you can send some SWE tokens to another wallet to get a send funds transaction done. So I will put some of my wallets here of SWE in order that you can send me some uh, SWE tokens. Uh, you can just send as little as you want just so for you to have the transaction because you can send here. You click here on send. Here you put the amount, click on continue and then here you put the address and you can send the coins now. 
So you are going to have that kind of transaction also. It will actually benefit you on the transaction activity. So that is step seven. So let's continue with this. Step eight, we need to test the available apps on the app section. So click active connections and start using each available app for testnet. When you go to apps, in my case at least, I have this, like no app is appearing because I am here in playground. So go to active connections and you are going to see the apps that right now supposedly are working. Always remember that you are in testnet because these apps also work for devnet, but you want your transactions, NFTs and everything in the testnet. So for example, let's create and verify an account on Blue Move. This is an app suite. This is the first one that appears here and try to interact to app to get transactions. So you can click there, go to view. You are already here on SWE. You can click here and go to Aptos, I think too. So go to my profile, complete all this information, verify with Discord and Twitter and click update profile. So you are already up to date with this profile. I will put some image here. Click on verify Discord and Twitter and click on update profile. So that will take only a minute. After you verify your profile there, you can go and try to interact with some of the NFT stuff. Right now, I don't see this working correctly, but keep an eye on this. You need to interact with the apps, so keep an on, on, on eye on this task and try it after some time. Now we are going to use another app. This is for Mint using Sui Wallet Demo. And you can use my image link because you are going to need an APFS uh, URL. So you can copy this from my step-by-step. -step. So copy that, go to your wallet again, go to apps, active here and check Sweet Wallet Demo. Go to view, example name for the NFT, CCS testnet example. Description, my NFT testnet web2. And here you need to put the URL that I mentioned. Click on create, confirm and approve on the SWE wallet. And you can see NFT successfully created. So this was okay. You can transfer this to another uh, wallet if you want. And in order to know that this worked correctly, again, you go here, you go to NFTs and you can see this is a SWE uh, ecosystem. This is a URL that I put here. So you can see that working correctly. And also in activity, you can see that I minted this correctly also. So use this link that I put there just to be easy for you and you can get this mint done. Point 11, play a go beef game on testnet. It's explaining on my previous video on SWE, it works the same way. So you can have here the link because you are going to need some URLs and another uh, wallet here, not only yours. So go to the link on the step so you can see it how I did in my previous video. And you can do the same, but in testnet. In my video is in devnet, so you can do the same in the testnet. Step 12, create a collection and mint NFT on Keepsake. So be sure to be in testnet. This is again the same. You go here and when you're welcome here to Keepsake, you can see choose what network, devnet or testnet, of course, Click on testnet, so everything will happen there. Connect your wallet, your sweet wallet. And here, guys, you can go to create. And before create an NFT, you must create a collection. And after you get the collection, you can create your NFT. So try to do that, interact with the app. We go to step 13, mint a wizard. So you can check that, go to the URL there. Just need to connect with the button, use your sweet wallet. You are already in testnet, so you don't really need to do anything and click on Mint Wizard. Click on Approve. Of course, guys, you are paying gas fees on Sweet Tokens with all of this. Congratulations, you meeted Wizard Land Test NFT. Click on OK. And you can confirm that this worked also. So you go to NFTs and you can see I have my Wizard Land there and the activity also from that mint. Very easy, guys, step by step. So I'm not going to do every every app there. So check the rest of the app periodically until you use all of them and when they work. I am hoping that they don't reset the testnet network anymore. So if that happened, you need to do everything again that you did here on the testnet in order to get that, those transactions 
because if they reset the network, you are losing everything on those transactions on the blockchain. So keep an eye to the rest of the apps in order to work. And step 15, check on the wallets, the swap functionality when this works and perform some swaps. You can see that if you go to the wallet, you have here the swap option, but it's not available. So you cannot do that yet. And step 16, guys, is you can run a node on the testnet if you are willing to do it. This is more complex. Maybe you need to be a developer to understand all that. But if you run a node, probably you are going to have more chances to be inside the core participation of SWE. And you are going to be more close to the devs and all that. And you may get more rewards on an airdrop, uh, possibly if you run a node. So you have some information to start that here on this Discord link. And finally, guys, the official links are here. You can check all the different links that are official relating to the testnet. Many of the things that I commented here are not even explained there, but we are trying to get the maximum possible opportunity for this airdrop. So doing all that, you are going to be in a really, really good position for any possible boost that we managed to accomplish. So these are the 17 steps that you need to follow. This is the complete guide step by step on the sweet testnet wave two so this complete guide it will help you a lot and put you in the best position and guys before we leave please like the video that is really really important even if more important that you subscribe if you are not a subscriber the like button it will help me to move this video uh, in more community in the crypto space so more people can know about this channel and of course if it's your first time don't doubt to subscribe to the channel and click the bell to get the notifications and if you are interested, I have a subscription for my Discord channel. In my Discord, we have some channels for airdrop distribution. So we are always up to date with that. So we don't miss any of the my airdrops distributions. We are there with channels with more airdrops, general airdrops information. We are around 100 people already there. And all the eyes are in airdrops, guys. So if you are an airdrop hunter or you want to start to manage more free airdrops and get money in crypto for free, join my Discord. And if you are really an airdrop hunter, you will use my application. Here is how it works. It's really cool. And you can see the testimonies on my Discord of people using my app to register all their airdrops and all is automatically launched there. So it's really, really easy to use it and it's prepared and the application was created with the intention that you may use multiple wallets too, which is what I do. So guys, that is all for this video. Remember to like the video, subscribe to the channel, click the bell to get the notifications and I will see you in the next video. Bye.